What's up everybody? Today I'm here with Yaroslav and David who are business partners. They have a content agency and they joined my coaching program, the Content Agency Accelerator at 2 km Month. And now let's hear it from them. Where are you guys at, Yaroslav, I guess you can say it. Right now we are at 14K per month, six active clients. This is just where we're at right now. That's awesome, bro. Love to see it. Cool. So here's how we'll go about this interview. I'm just gonna ask you guys questions and then if you guys wanna give away free sauce, you guys wanna say whatever you want, we'll probably go for like seven, 10 minutes, something like that. Before joining the program, Program. I know you guys were at 2K a month. It was four months ago. What was the main thing you were struggling with? Did you really feel like it was you just couldn't get clients on the phone? You couldn't close them? Maybe you're getting clients, but they weren't paying you that much. Yeah, just let me know. I guess, David, we can start with you. Yeah, so I would say our main problem was that like we did our outreach, we did our volume, but we really didn't have clear offer so we could get the clients like tangible results. So in the beginning, they were kind of skeptical. They thought cool, convenient offer. They get us some views, but that's it. So it was, it was kind of hard to scale this i would say week offer gotcha makes sense and then what were you guys doing to try and get the clients on the phone were you just relying on inbound referrals were you sending like copy paste cold dms what were you trying to do while you had the bad offer we mainly did we did like copy paste messages we tried to send out as much volume as we possibly could but with like a bad outreach message it was a long ass text and we didn't really had clear goal of what we were doing just send out a ton of messages which are without seeing any results at all yeah so many people think like hey you can just copy paste this or you can get those instagram dm softwares but as yeah. you guys know after going through the program seeing these results like you need to put more effort in to land a client and get them to pay you thousands of dollars a month right that brings me to my next question yaroslav how much on average do your guys clients pay you per month and then what are your deliverables like what are you doing for them so right now like our main price is anywhere between 2k to 2.2k per month and we basically we have like a full youtube service quite similar to you uh, and our deliverables, we do ideation, we do scripting. These are usually four scripts per month. Then we basically do the editing also for the four videos per month. We do the thumbnail design and we do the SEO. Okay, perfect. And then how long does it take you to write each YouTube script for your clients? Usually depends, but actually quite quick because also through the course, we now have a really good framework, how to write scripts. Also Jordan helped us out a lot with that. I think like the average time I need to write a script is like 20 to 30 minutes max, probably. Okay, perfect. Yeah, for us, as well it takes like 20 minutes each so you're in the good range i don't even know if you did scripts before but did they used to take a lot more time and then over time as you wrote more you just got better yeah i mean before i it took like a couple hours to write a script mainly i was writing out everything word for word which doesn't make much sense at all especially for the body and took a couple hours probably around two hours and now 20 minutes yeah, yeah much more efficient yeah. love it cool and then david do you guys want to walk me through how your sort of like processes for fulfillment evolved like before were you guys kind of just like no project management system, nothing going on. And then now do you feel like everything's a lot more organized? Was there like a transformation there? Yeah, so in the beginning, we were just, me and Yaroslav, we didn't have any outside editors. So the main process was our client sent a footage and drive and Yaroslav called me on WhatsApp and said, hey David, we have to edit the footage. And yeah, I went into the editing program, edited the footage, sent it back through WhatsApp with the drive link. It was so messy. Like we did our whole, um, our messages all through WhatsApp. Um, we didn't have Slack, like we had Slack for about one month but it was um, kind of unorganized and then we switched back to whatsapp we were so unorganized we didn't have a structure or fulfillment as you said we didn't have a real crm program and we switched to trello but that was also kind of a struggle because the cards and everything was all new and after we joined the content accelerator we implemented all the trello videos in the course and we were super organized we had four clients i think at the time and we were pushing out 16 videos which isn't a lot to be honest but it was clean everything was going into place also with our other editors then so it was it was good awesome okay and then i know we recently added our new airtable project management system inside of the program did you guys have enough time to like implement that yet or are you guys still just using trello for now for this we actually already implemented it already set up a couple automations and the whole process now works 10 times smoother i would say i mean trello was good but on airtable you have all of these automations directly integrated in airtable you basically uh, set everything everything up already for us. We just had to copy paste everything into our system. So way too easy how the process goes now. So really smooth. That's awesome. Love to hear it. Well, we've been developing that Airtable base for like multiple, multiple months. And then finally I was like, okay, it's time to share it. This is good enough. Yeah. And then yeah, I'm, I love that. You guys love it. Cool. I want to make sure this video is valuable for people. So where you were at four months ago versus now, what do you think is the main thing you've learned or more so the main piece of advice you'd have for someone who's starting out a content agency or maybe that 2K a month trying to scale? We can start 
start with Yaroslav and then David can say something after. So the main thing I would say, especially if you want to gain clients, is like for an agency, I think the most important part is to do the marketing, do the outbound, especially in the beginning. And if you do outbound outreach, really send value upfront, it's really the main thing and the most important thing to give them value upfront before signing them. Because most people don't respond, especially if you have like a small social media account, not much presence yet, not much case studies. You really have to give them value upfront and then they respond. They record a video. We did script writing. So basically we send out a script, the Dream 100 method. And that's, I think, the really the best thing you could do as a beginner agency. Yeah, makes sense. David, how about you? I would think it was kind of more like a mindset shift in general. So before this, we, we thought we were putting out so much volume, um, but we only did like 10 messages a day. And so we thought about, yeah, you know, 10 messages a day, 70 a week, 280 a month, and that's going good. And then we joined to program and we thought, guys, like doing 10 script outreaches per day, this changed our whole perspectives. I think this with the community and like that it motivates you to really push forward to do your outreach. And if you think you're doing enough volume, it's always um, another person who's doing more than you. And this is kind of a, a great advice for everyone. Yeah, I love that advice because me, myself, I'm oh, whenever I'm not working, I'm thinking, man, there's someone out there reaching out to my prospects or there's someone, you know, working harder than me. So yeah, definitely that mindset shift of realizing, okay, you think you're doing a lot, but you're actually doing nothing. It's a game changer. Did you guys ever do a, a time audit that was in the, the program where you track your time, you see how much time you're spending on each thing? What was the main thing you noticed when you did that, that time audit? At first, the main thing was that I really didn't spend that much time on marketing. I maybe did like an hour a day or something on doing outreach, which isn't enough because it's like I already said, it's the main thing you have to do if you want to gain new clients, especially in the beginning. And after really tracking, I think I did three days, tracked all of the act tasks I was doing. And yeah, what I realized mainly is I didn't do that much outreach. This was the main part. Okay, makes sense. And then David, how about you when you did your time audit? What'd you notice? My problem was I, I was editing for a long time. And so I was mainly our head editor in our agency. And I've noticed that there's so much time for me and my edits going into the client's project. And so I did the time audit. And so I'm editing a lot. I shouldn't edit so long. And I we switched to hire more editors. We trained the editors better. So I got the leverage from training the editors as the head editor and so we could gain more leverage and i mean this was a very good um perspective that's awesome Wait, let's talk about that for a sec because obviously i know when you join and like you just said you know you're editing spending all this time editing one of the main things i try and do for anyone who joins the program who's editing themselves the first like order of action after they get one or two clients is to just delegate the editing and train up an editor because it's such a huge time suck and it's such a low dollar per hour task so how did it feel now i don't know if you do zero editing or like just barely any editing how does it feel now? And then what do you use your time for instead? Right now, I'm all on building the team, helping the editors get better. I know so many guys out there, they're good in editing. Like they have the edits, they have the portfolio. And they think if they stop editing in the agency, it will uh, all burn down and everything crumbles because, you know, you're the main main point in your agency. But when you get to switch in your mindset that really when you train people that can get good enough to be a part of the agency, to fulfill the clients, then it's way easier to scale. And you as the only person you can can't scale that much only editing so you're just a freelancer in a better position that's my opinion yeah with me like as soon as i got it was my second client i delegated like all of the editing but then a lot of people think oh it's like you delegate it or you hire an editor and then you do nothing it's like no you still have to train the editor you know you have to like show them the ropes and stuff like that and then over time after like two months or something like that it's super smooth love to see it you guys evolution from like freelancing to now you know actually building out a team is awesome how big is the team now we have like four editors in place and one thumbnail designer got it okay cool so based on the results so far where do you see your business going in the next six to 12 months results wise i mean we did a lot of outreach and right now we get a ton of responses on it we're doing really a lot of free videos which is also part of the method basically creating free videos as a part of the free value and right now like i said did a ton of free videos it looks like that we're gonna sign a ton of new people and really can 2x or 3x current revenue looks really good right now but we have to stay consistent push the outreach but i think we're really on a good way and like until in like one to two months we can definitely hit 20k 30k something like that yeah for sure 20 30k easy love to see it and then if someone is on the fence of joining the coaching program what would you tell them actually one of the best thing are like all of the systems right now also the airtable system and basically all of the automations that are in there also for the whole onboarding process also really really smooth how that goes and you, you get really everything you need to scale up 
have a smooth process for you get sales tutorials, you get marketing, basically everything you need to know to marketing, to automations, to service delivery, basically really everything you need to know. Awesome. Love to hear it. David, do you have anything to add or did the Yaroslav pretty much hit everything? Yeah, I agree with Yaroslav. I would add the community you get in the coaching. Like you can always ask something and you always get an answer and you're not on your own. You can connect with people, network with people, build a business with people. And I think that's the main takeaway. Awesome. Dope guys. Any final thoughts you guys would like to tell the viewers anything at all? I just would say go on a call with Ayman and join the program. There's nothing to lose. Awesome. Love to hear it. Cool guys. Well, I'm going to leave Yaroslav and David's social media links in the description description so you guys can check them out drop them a follow super dope guys hustling how old are you guys you guys are like 18 both 18, of you yeah. cool yeah i started the agency when i was like 17 right about to turn 18 so like and i'm 19 now so love to see it we got like the young hustlers in the program we also have some people who are like one guy i think he's 30 a couple people 22 area so yeah pretty diverse group but cool guys thank you so much for your time today i'm gonna end this recording and yaroslav and david's social media links will be in the description and if you want to join the content agency accelerator it's going to be the first link in the description Peace out.